Hey, and welcome here to the tutorial. So, I will show how I made my two light setups here for my latest project. So, I have here two groups, which I will delete, because we will create it from scratch. And for that we need the Arnold lights, we can extract it here, and we start with a dome light. So, here on the dome light, we want to insert here a texture. Let's go, HDRs, and let's create first my, my look dev lighting. So I used here the HDR from this pack, set it here to scene linear sRGB because it's in ASAS and it's some linear file format, but we are dealing with color data. Okay, here back on the, on the dome light, we want the intensity. Something like 1.5 and we can fire up here the IPR to have a look how it looks like. Give it a second and here we are. We don't want to see it here in the camera. And let's rotate it a bit here. And more, more, even more, until we are happy with it. Just a bit more. Oh yeah, that looks cool here, yeah. I think I, I used some of the values here. So we are we are getting here a, a fill light and also a bit of a, of a key light here, but that's not enough. We also want some area lights. Let's get a little bit bigger and just to bring, bring up the silhouette of the model a bit better, we scale it up here and let's add some exposure here. Let's go for something like 10.5 and look through selected which is a very handy thing here. for the keyboard and now we can we can start here bringing in some key light let's also add here a warmer tone temperature let's go for something like very warm and we want to decrease the spread amount here let's go for something 0.1 and now we can see it, it comes here as a, as a nice rim light here. Yeah, slowly it comes through here. I mean, we can disable for a moment here the HDR to see, to see our rim light a bit better. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we are, we are here on something very strange. We want to have something like that. Whoa, look at that now. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go back here onto our main camera. Enable back here the HDR. And here our rim light will come, come through it. Pretty nice. But we want to have a second one. We can control D on the light. Let's go here for a bit of cold tone. Let's go for something like that. And we can look through select it again. Auto save kicks in. Give it a second. And here we go. Render region here with shift and left mouse button. You can drag drag up here this render region. It's pretty handy. Yeah, maybe maybe something like that. Maybe a bit closer to, to have it a bit more harsh. 
I think that's pretty cool. Let's go back here to our perspective view. And now we also want to have a key light just to, um, to brighten up here an area to guide the viewer a bit better. So let's go for another area light. It's getting a bit bigger. So keep in mind to have the lights in a, in a scale which is which makes sense to the model. So check some some tutorials about photography or studio photography about that. So you can see how, how big the lights are, the soft boxes and stuff like that. So these are pretty good references. Okay, so here we want to have something like 10 or uh, let's make 10.7 and we also want to decrease here the spread amount let's say 3. Point 0.35 or so let's type it in manually yeah and let's go and go again for look through selected focus here We can also go here, on that side. Yeah, or maybe, maybe this a bit too big. Let's scale it down a bit. Because now it brightens up everything here, but we want to have it a bit more, more stronger here. Yeah, I think that, that comes pretty well here. Can draw here a render region. Give it a second. Yeah, or not a second. <laughs> give it give it a bit of time. So yeah, you have some displacement action going on. You have some transparency. You have some subsurface scattering. It will take a bit. So yeah, keep in mind of that. Come on, I want to show what it looks like. Okay, I don't want to wait anymore. Let's go here back to perspective. Oh, look. Maybe it is a bit strong, but we can we can dial this, this a bit back here. Go for something like that. And yeah, I mean, that's how I made my setup for for the light setup, which isn't that effect um, or not that contrasting, let's say it that way. So you can see the details on, on, the, on the complete model. But I also made a second, a second light setup, so we can group that and let's call this one... Yeah, let's call it full... And with Control H, we can hide it. All right, let's introduce a new Skydome light here. And here as well, we want to insert a texture. Let's grab it. HDRs. And here I used from the Meshman pack. I think, yeah, this one with the TX file. Let's open it. And here as well, Scene Linear Rec 709 sRGB. Okay, we need to rotate a bit. Um, this was something like... I think this was a minus degree, so... Minus 100 or minus 90 when I'm not wrong. Yeah, and crank it up a bit in the intensity. Let's go for 1.7 or so. And now let's have a look. Yeah, you can see, I used it just a bit to, to have a, a global global filling or fill light, just to have everywhere a bit of, a, of a light stuff going on here, just to fill it a bit. But I can show you later why I used here the HDR. So let's introduce here a new area light. Scale it up again. 
and we want to have a warmer tone let's go here for or no this one this one is the, is the colder one so let's go here for 8600 and we want to have to spread pretty narrow and the exposure is something about 11 when i'm not wrong okay the old function here look through selected and let's check this out so now i'm supporting a bit the hdr which which is coming here so it makes it also a bit more interesting so because i have on the right side the strong um, narrowed area lines but i also want on the other side a bit of, of tension so it gives a bit of contrast here and it doesn't make the the whole image boring i'm pretty happy with that angle here just supporting a bit here the silhouette yeah let's let's leave it as it is perspective back here and now we want the warm as well so let's go here for a bit stronger one let's say 12 and yeah let's let's go here a more warm perspective oh no I'll look for selected Oh no no let's let's use here just the white color. I think this will kick in kick in here the silhouette a bit better. Yeah, look. I just want here the outer part. Something like that. And now we come to the to the main lights which we will have here which draws this this nice shape here on his face. For that, we introduce a new area light, and we also need to scale it up. But now we have to think about what these these lights are. So my idea was that this was a window here or a door, and there are some some wooden wooden stuff going on in front of that, and the a bright sunlight is shining through it. So we will mimic that by scaling it in a in a way like that uh, come on by scaling it that it looks like it's 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 the space between the wooden wooden planks say something like that and this needs to be pretty pretty narrow here let's go for zero point um when i'm not wrong 0 0.1 so and a bit of a soften edge i used something around 0 0.15 when i'm not wrong and we need a pretty strong exposure here let's go for 10 or 10 5. now we can go again here look through selected Now we can we can art direct where where we want the light streak here. Perspective and rotate it. So as I know here from my model, I have this line going on here, and I have also his beard, and I want to align this 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 lines that it's yeah it's it's parallel going on and it doesn't distract that much, and in terms of how how the the lines in the and the shapes are drawing the image here so let's let's rotate it a bit more yeah we have it almost i mean it doesn't need to be perfect i mean nothing in, in the real world is perfect but we are doing some artistic work here so we can do that and yeah auto save is kicking in maybe i need to disable it for for tutorials or may, maybe make it in, in a longer period yeah, let's go a bit smaller here. Maybe even a bit smaller. Rotate a bit more. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's let's duplicate that. 
we can change the orientation here from world to object it's a bit easier to move here and we want to scale this down because yeah not not every space on such a door with some wooden planks in front of it is, is that even so we want to make it more interesting so scale it down we don't need that much of exposure let's go here for something like in point five or so so we can art direct the viewer or we can we can direct the viewer where we want to have it shown on on our our image and the most important part is the eyes and the face of your model and we don't we don't want that much of uh, stuff going on here I mean you can you can later in the post-production paint some some areas a bit darker or so that's not a problem but we want to go as, as far as we can here on that on that stage so let's go even even dark let's go for yeah seven maybe seven dot five is a bit better and we don't want that much of we want to have it a bit wider and maybe even smaller come on yeah now we can we can break the the parallelism is parallelism a, a real word i need to i need to google it but yeah we we can break now the, the evenness here a bit so let's go maybe something like that yeah i don't want to have that area here too prominent yeah look perfect because here it's a bit darker and it goes here to to a more brighten area so we can we can direct the viewer more more towards the face great let's duplicate it one more time make this even smaller go here for something like six or so and spread them out yeah we we want it really small here just to draw here a line i wanted it hits a bit the skull skull emblem here pretty nice i mean that's kind of the whole process that's what i did on my project so that's all the magic behind it. The rest was post-production, just to uh, direct the viewer a bit more towards the face. Um, but it's pretty it. So what we learned is think about what you will do and how it is created in the real world. So use some real world scales, like uh, real world light source, how big it will be and place it in a in a way that it makes sense so let's say here is a here's a wall and here's the door with them with the wooden planks in front of it and yeah that's it um, I hope this was a, a good insight for you and as you can see it doesn't it doesn't it isn't black magic or so I think you can do such stuff pretty easily by yourself and as we can see here it turns out pretty cool and feel free to experiment or just check some photography references and get inspired from that lighting here or from that lighting they, they are doing. And yeah, I wish you some happy rendering and I can't wait to see your results. Feel free to post it here on our Discord server. I will put the link in the description. And I wish you bye bye.